on the News Channel 5 Network, this is Open Line. Hi, everybody. Rory Johnston with you tonight for Open Line. We're live here on News Channel 5 Plus. Thanks so much for tuning us in. As always, we do appreciate it. Monday night, first uh, Monday in November. We hope you had a very happy Halloween. And uh, as we were just talking over on News Channel 5 at 6, we hope you're enjoying some of the candy in moderation. There are piles of it all around here at News Channel 5. All right, very important topic tonight as uh, we're actually going to kind of stay in-house here tonight and talk about uh, one of our very important News Channel 5 investigations. Um, our Phil Williams will be along uh, momentarily to talk about this with us, so uh, stick around, and this is your chance to call in and talk directly with Phil, our chief investigative reporter. If you watch News Channel 5 at 6 tonight, you saw his investigation into Metro Schools uh, and their system of testing students. We have heard a lot of news uh, from Metro School District uh, about uh, test scores improving. But uh, his investigation revealed some, some very interesting things. So here's what we decided we'll do. We'll just sit back and let you watch that report in case you did not see it earlier. Uh, we're going to roll that clip. Uh, and when we come back in just a bit, Phil will join us to talk more about this investigation. So sit back and take a look. Y'all ready to get started? The story of what's happening inside Metro Nashville's high schools has in recent years become a national story bringing a presidential visit. The message I want to send here today is we want every child to have every chance in life. While well, some of Nashville's high school principals kids are more than a test score have been asked to share their insights with Congress as well as the U.S. Secretary of Education. A school district once facing a potential state takeover has more recently generated headlines for dramatic improvements, especially improvements in high school test scores. One national magazine even dubbed it a district of distinction. When I hear those stories, I get it. it makes me angry. Why? Because I know they're not true. But now these Metro School employees are risking it all. True gains would, would involve making sure that every student tested. To blow the whistle on a testing system that they say hides the students who need help the most, all to make the school's test scores look better. This is manipulating data. This is making the test results different than what they would have been. It's rigging the game? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're taking a test right now. In Tennessee, high schools are judged largely on the percentage of students who score proficient or advanced on end-of-course exams in seven subjects, three years of English, two years of algebra, as well as biology and chemistry. We were pretty much under the gun to get our scores up. I mean, it was you know, that's kind of a do or die thing. Kelly Brown was the lead counselor at Pearl Cone, the lowest performing high school in the city of Nashville. Pearl Cone has tried to carve a niche for itself as an entertainment magnet school. But in April 2014, Brown says her principal brought her a list of students who needed to be pulled from classes just a few weeks before those critical end of course exams. A lot of them were failing, but not by much. And there were some that were actually passing. They were actually passing. Yeah. And they were pulled from the class. Right. When Brown looked at their files, she discovered that the students who were pulled had not done well on a round of practice tests, tests that are supposed to predict how well they'll perform on their exams. All of these students, the ones that got pulled, have that in common. They did not perform well on the predictive tests. Why would they do that? I mean, the only reason is because they want their scores to go up. That's the only reason. These are students that needed these courses to graduate. Shona West was a ninth grade counselor at Hunters Lane High School, a school that showed gains on those exams due to what the principal described as a different approach. Now that we're talking to kids about their data, they understand what they need to learn and then they can help partner with us in how can I teach this to you in a different way to make sure you learn it. Some would say, Miss West, why did you change my schedule? And I said, well, I didn't change your schedule. And I thought, well, let me just check the 10th and 11th grade rosters, transcripts, and notice that, okay, there were more. So they were pulling the students who had not done well on the practice exactly. test. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
District officials say they did approve a policy that lets schools pull students who failed the fall semester of a class to give them remedial help in the spring, what they call credit recovery, expecting that they would make up the second half of the course sometime later and then take the end of course exam. Here you see the these former high school counselors showed us plenty of examples of passing grades, a 74, 78, even an 84. In one case, a female student identified to us as student D was enrolled in algebra one and actually passed the first semester with an 81, but her predictive test suggested she might score below basic on the exam that she used to judge the school. That's the lowest level. That's when she was pulled from the class. I'm almost done. Then, like most of the other, student D was signed up to finish algebra one on the computer using a program that the district calls a plus an assignment that more than a year later student D still hasn't completed. So they're really basically having to get that information on their oh, no. own and they don't. The vast majority of students don't without real structure and guidance do not finish A plus and they didn't finish A+. Plus. Finally, Kelly Brown says she confronted the Pearl Cone principal. I said, I, I can't work in a school where we pull students from testing. And she said? She said, well, all I can say is I was directed to do that and we're not the only school. Directed to do that. Mm -hmm. So if she was directed to do it, it had to have come from? One of her superiors. We're talking about the central office. Right, right, executives. I just feel like it wasn't right. And Shauna West admits she got into trouble at Hunter's Lane when she actually promoted some of the students who had not been allowed to complete their classes. These students should have had the opportunity to take the course and be promoted and not have to go into credit recovery for something that they didn't fail. I would never want this done to my own child, never. Both women say they know of students who have been hurt by these practices. All at the same time, school officials are busy patting themselves on the back. Who in their right mind would do this to their child? And if you wouldn't do it to your child, why are you doing it to these children? It's cheating the children. It's cheating them. And as promised, our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams, joins us now to talk more about this uh, latest investigation. Phil, good to have you with us. Thanks. Um, that subject uh, there, the woman, she got emotional. Yeah, she, I mean, she, she this takes this very, yeah, she she takes she takes it very personally uh, because of you know her feeling that the system has put its own interests ahead of some students' interests. Right, and it certainly sounds like it from yeah. what you've uncovered. Yeah, I mean, the, they tell a very compelling story. They uh, showed me substantial amounts of um, of documentation to support what they're saying, uh, and um, so. You know, they have certainly convinced me that there's a real issue there that the city probably will need to address at some point. Speaking of that, I know over at six o'clock you said that the school wouldn't, the school, uh, metro schools, no official would go on camera. That's right. But they did issue a statement. Yeah, and you know, we really did <clears throat> want them to go on camera because I, I really feel like that this affects so many students that they really, you know, have an obligation to be willing to stand up to questions mm -hmm. uh, instead of just putting out a statement. And so that's my little, my, my, my uh, standing invitation for them to sit down and go on camera and, and answer our questions. Um, essentially what they said in their statement was, you know, that they are taking it seriously, but, you know, they've had their research staff looking into this. Uh, they don't find um, any real systemic er, right. evidence of a systemic problem. They say there were some isolated, isolated examples of where you know, people graduated last year who had not taken all of the end of course exams that they should have taken. Uh, but they said those were scattered and they weren't concentrated at any one school. Right. Here's the problem with that. Uh, they're looking at the percentage of, or, or I mean, the, 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 they're looking at just one year. 
Right. And um, so some of the allegations that we're hearing involve people who would not necessarily have graduated last year. Mm -hmm. So just looking at people who graduated last year is not going to give you a complete picture. Sure. They're also looking at you know, percentage of students from various classes who took the end of course exam. And, and they're saying, well, we had a very high, you know, 90, you know, 6, 97, 98% uh, right. rate of students who took the test. But, you know, that's based off of people who were enrolled in that class. And, and what these, these women are saying is that students were actually unenrolled from those classes. Exactly. So that, you know, the percent, the, the numbers taking the test would not reflect that. Makes sense. Uh, we're going to take our first break, everybody. 737-PLUS uh, is the phone number if you'd like to talk with Phil about this investigation and maybe you have some comments about some others that he's done. We're open to that as well. Uh, stay with us. Open Line continues right after this.